Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a polynomial system. We have a cubed plus b cubed equals 2 times the square root of 5. a squared b plus ab squared equals square root of 5. And we're going to be solving for a and b values. I'll be presenting two methods. Let's go ahead and start with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to do the following. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and uh, factor a cubed plus b cubed. Obviously, this is something we can do. a cubed plus b cubed can be written as a plus b multiplied by a squared minus ab plus b squared. And we know that it's equal to 2 times the square root of 5. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and take that a squared plus b squared and manipulate it. So, and I'm going to make it look like uh, a plus b, but squared. But obviously, we're going to have some extra terms. So I can write the a squared plus b squared as so this one plus this one as a plus b quantity squared minus 2ab. And then I have an additional minus ab, so I'm going to subtract that as well. And the product is equal to 2 root 5. Now, here we have negative 2 minus 1, or minus 2 minus 1. That is equal to minus 3 or negative 3. So we can basically write this as a plus b quantity squared minus 3ab. Awesome. So now we have this equation and then we have the other equation. Now the second equation can be factored as well. We can take out an ab and we're going to get a plus b equals square root of 5. Awesome. Let's go ahead and write that down here. ab times a plus b equals square root of 5. So this is our system and we're going to solve that system. First of all, uh, let's do some naming. How about calling this a plus b thing sum or s and a b p. And then this is what we get from here. s times s squared minus 3p equals 2 square root of 5 and s times p is equal to square root of 5. So here's one thing we can do. We can divide these things side by side because that's going to help us cancel. That's going to help us cancel S. So we can write it like this. Oh, actually, let's not write the equal sign yet. We're going to divide it by this. And on the other side, we're going to have 2 root 5 divided by root 5. Square root of 5 is going to cancel out, leaving us with a 2. Let's go ahead and multiply here and cross multiply here we get to sp and we can add sp to both sides or you know however you want to do it we can basically oh by the way we forgot to do one thing here allow me to go back and fix it so we forgot to cancel out s so can s be zero S is A plus B. If A plus B is 0, then both of these quantities are going to be 0. So it's impossible that A plus B, A plus B cannot be 0 in other words. So S does not equal 0. We know that. So why not, why not cancel out the S? That's going to simplify the process. So now we have S squared minus 3P equals 2P. And now we can add 3P to both sides. And this gives us S squared equals 5P. But that's not very helpful. Let's go ahead and isolate P here and write it as s squared over 5. So we were able to write the product in terms of the sum. And guess what we're going to do with that? We have sp, remember the product, the second equation in our system, this one, is equal to square root of 5. Now I can replace p with s squared over 5, and that's going to give me the following. s times s squared is equal to s cubed. If you cross multiply, you're going to get 5 root 5. If you are familiar with radicals, you should know that 5 root 5 is root 5 cubed, right? Why? Because I can write this as root 5 times root 5 times root 5. So that explains why s is equal to root 5. Make sense? So s is equal to root 5. So what? I do need to find p, but p is given in terms of s. So p is s squared, which is 5 divided by 5, and that is equal to 1. Right now, we do have another system, right? So you can do lots of different things with this. You can go ahead and, you know, 
just write uh, a plus b for s and a b for p and come up with a system like this and then try to solve the system how do you solve the system i can use substitution isolate b it becomes square root of 5 minus a and then here in the second equation if i go ahead and replace b with square root of 5 minus a then i do get a quadratic equation what does that look like square root of 5a minus a squared is equal to 1 or a squared minus square root of 5 times a plus 1 is equal to 0. And this equation is very easy to solve with the quadratic formula. You can just go ahead and solve for a values. The a values are going to be square root of 5 plus 1 over 2. And the other, like we can call these a1 and a2, square root of 5 minus 1 over 2. And of course, the b values are going to be just switched around. Therefore, we can kind of write our solution set as root 5 plus 1 over 2, yay, the golden flavor, or the golden ratio, and the square root of 5 minus 1 over 2, or it could be the other way around, and that's going to give us the ordered pairs. There are two solutions to this equation. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So my second method is actually much nicer. Obviously, the first method is usually like brute forcey and you know, no pain, no gain, and kind of like a long, longer method, usually, most of the time. So let me rewrite the system. We have this, and we have that. Obviously, we have some symmetry, but if you are familiar with, and if you're not, you should definitely be, with the binomial theorem, you should remember the following. What is a plus b to the third power? And the motivation behind it is that I have the sum of two cubes. It is a cubed plus b cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared, but I can write it as 3ab times a plus b. Or you can still write it that way because we already have that equation, 3a squared b plus 3ab squared. That's fine. We can write it that way. Now, notice that I know this, and I can find this because I have this multiplied by 3, and you are good to go. Awesome. Let's go ahead and take out a 3. Oops. That should be a, a b squared. And that is a plus b quantity cubed. And then from here, a cubed plus b cubed is given as 2 root 5. And this is given as root 5. Their sum is 5 root 5 as before. And this tells us a plus b is root 5. And from here, like from the second equation, we can divide both sides by a plus b and we get AB equals 1. And again, this gives us the same equation as before, right? What was that equation? It was A squared minus square root of 5A plus 1 equals 0. And then from here, the solutions are going to be square root of 5 plus 1 over 2, comma square root of 5 minus 1 over 2, and, and root 5 minus 1 over 2, comma root 5 plus 1 over 2. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.